Hi guys, welcome to Science Shop. Today we're going to be looking at the Vernier Optics Expansion Kit. We're trying to find out the focal length of the lens and also the magnification that the lens provides as well. Okay, so this is what the label on the box looks like. If we open it up, we can have a look at a couple of uh, experiments here. We've got all of these things. This is actually super useful. This is the instruction booklet. We'll have a look at this in a moment. You've got your power lead in, in here. And you've got all sorts of things. Uh, you've got this uh, lens holder, this uh, double convex. Um, that will come in useful. Uh, you've got a double concave lens, um, 15 centimeter. Okay, great. And you've got another uh, double convex lens, 20 centimeter. So you've got um, three different lenses. Uh, you've got a light source assembly in this thing. You've got an aperture assembly. Now, I don't actually use this this thing at all. I suppose you could if you wanted to. There's a light sensor holder. This is compatible with the Vernier LabQuest. I don't actually use this thing. Um, and then you've got a screen. One more item you actually need is um, this thing. It's a Vernier track. And uh, you need to have this scale on it as well. I've got some of these uh, things laid out now. So I've got the screen over here. I've got uh, this lens. This one is the uh, 20 centimeter double convex. And I've got this, um, you know, this, uh, I forget what they call it, the whatever it is. This is the one which produces the light. So that's what I have over here. And I've got the power lead connected up. So I'll show you how to exactly set up this thing. First of all, you, you grab this thing. And at the back, you've got a, a little metal thing. You plug this in and you turn it on. Now you can actually change this to um, a few different things. I usually either have it on the number four or um, the L. The reason being the image that it produces, um, it could be upside down, so that way you can tell what way round it is, okay? The way you attach it is like this. You, you just grab it and you clamp it down. Clamps down fairly easily, let me show you again. So it just goes in like so, super easy. Then what you've got to do is you've got to have a look at that thing there. Got to be able to read off the number. It actually says 15.2 centimeters. That'll come in handy when you're doing the, uh, the calculations. Next up is the lens itself, and that's where the position of my object is. And I want to have a little bit of a gap, and I'm going to just place it down randomly. It does really matter there, and it just clamps down shut again. Take note of the position. So far, our um, thing looks a little bit like this. And then we want a screen on the back. Next up is this screen. And what you want to do with the screen is... You want to move it fairly close to the actual lens and then slowly move it backwards until you get a sharp image of that letter. Can you see right there? Okay, right there, you can just about see that L on the screen. I'm going to quickly turn the lights off and I'll show you again. Here it is, you can see the L. Now, the idea is once you've found the position, just freehand, then you just clamp it down. You can actually move it along like this and it gets a bit blurry and like that, it gets a bit blurry. So you want it perfectly sharp. And that is in about that position. And then you take a note of the position, which is right there. Our next bit requires the instruction book. If you open that up, on the inside you've got an equation, and this is the equation that we're going to use. So this is the thin lens equation. 1 over the focal length equals 1 over the image distance uh, plus 1 over the object distance. I've written out everything that I need to figure out from this particle. So position of lens, position of object, and position of image. We're going to do the uh, lens position first. So if I bring the camera up close, uh, we just read it off the scale like so. I can see it's at 60.8. Do the same thing for the object distance. 15.2. Repeat the same thing for the screen. 
94.2 centimeters. In order to work out the object distance, what we have to do is you have to take the position of the lens and then subtract 15.2 centimeters from it. That gives us 45.6 centimeters. In order to work out image distance, we actually do it the other way. We do 94.2 centimeters, that's where the screen is, minus 60.8 centimeters, that's where the position of the lens is. So that gives us 94.2 minus 60.8 is 33.4 centimeters. And bear in mind, we're measuring all distances from the actual uh, lens itself. Our next part is just plugging in the numbers. So my image distance is that one over there, 33.4. And my object distance was the original one, 45.6. And then you just solve. And when you solve that, you get 0 0.052. Now, in order to get F, what you do is 1 divided by 0 0.052. And you get 19.28 centimeters. Now, if you have a check on uh, this thing, it actually says 20 centimeters. So 20 centimeters is a rough approximation. According to our numbers, it's 19.28 centimeters. Another experiment you can do is work out the magnification. So what you're doing is you're, uh, you're using a ruler and you're measuring how tall the image is. So that's height of the image. And you're dividing it by the height of the object. So let me show you. That's your, again, it's, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little L in the middle. Uh, you use a ruler, find out how high that is and divide it by how high that is, the, the object itself, and that will give you your magnification. So there you have it, a complete rundown how to use the Vernier Optics Kit to measure focal length and magnification. Thank you very much for watching. And by the way, um, like, share, subscribe if you can, donate. I need that money, it's a brokey channel. I need the dough. Thank you very much. Stay well, goodbye. Yeah. <laughs>